Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Joni Young and I'm an acrylic artist and instructor. Today I'm gonna to show you guys all how to paint this fantasy guitar painting. I'm making this up as I go along. I've got the image kind of in my mind right now and it may change a little bit along the way from what I'm picturing it like. Uh, I'm really excited to show you guys how to do this. I haven't practiced at all. This is just live for you guys right now, right here. So get ready, hit that subscribe paint along. I'll have a full list of all the colors and brushes I'm using, the size of canvas, plus links to other things and videos I think you guys may enjoy. So subscribe now and let's get started. First I'm going to go over the colors. I've got titanium white, phthalo blue, turquoise bright aqua green, cadmium yellow light hue, uh, neon rose i almost said violet because this one's actually really similar to the violet that i used by holbein but this one's rose and i haven't used this one in a long time so i'm excited to uh, add this in with some flowers possibly later i've also got my neon orange by the same brand the holbein and i'm using burnt sienna mars black and light blue violet the first thing that i want to do is create the background so I want to have a sky and a background that's going to be quite different from what we've got going on inside the guitar. So I'm thinking the guitar is going to be more uh, summer, spring, sunny, um, brighter and happier. And then the background is going to be a little bit more moody. So I'm thinking of uh, doing a gray sky tinted with a little bit of that blue violet and then having some beautiful turquoise water down here maybe a little bit stormy nothing too too stormy though but I want to kind of have waves kind of coming up gently around the guitar so the guitar is kind of in there and we want to escape that uh, kind of gloominess around and go into the guitar I'm picturing having like a waterfall coming down the neck of the guitar and then spilling out into the image inside and then kind of spilling out into the water so I can tie it all together. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. In my mind, I can see it. I'm gonna try my best to transfer this onto a canvas, step-by-step step for you right now. So to work on the background, I'm gonna use my number 30 filbert brush. You can use a flat brush as well, it doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna get it a little bit wet. And like I said, I'm gonna just take a little bit of black and white to create gray. I'm gonna make it even a little bit lighter than that. We know that acrylic dries darker, so I wanna make sure that I prevent that from drying too dark by adding a bit more white. So just first of all here, I'm gonna start coming in with the background, long sweeping strokes, then a little bit slight scoop shorter little scoops. I'm going to pick up just a little bit more water there as that paint is starting to uh, dry out on my canvas and my brush already. A little bit of water, a little bit more paint. I'm going to bring down the horizon a little bit lower, right about to here, okay? A little tip for you guys, adding your horizon above halfway mark or below halfway mark is gonna make your landscapes, your images way more um, inviting and dramatic. So cutting it in half, that means halfway down the canvas, the top half being the sky and the bottom half being the foreground um, where you will have your you know, horizon cutting it right in the middle there can really make a painting flat. Not many of you guys know that. Some of you guys might, it depends who's watching right now, but a lot of people don't know that when they're starting to uh, paint. So when you wanna create your own images, that's something to think about. So I'm gonna go slightly over this gray down here with my um, turquoise and a little bit of blue. This is called grayscale, what we're doing here right now. So this is giving us those shadows uh, that are really gonna help make the painting look a little bit more real and give us a 3D effect and mid-tones. So the mid-tones are what you get in between um, your darkest shadows and highlights and uh, mid kind of contrast where you have your brightest, brightest highlights and your darkest shadows. So now what I wanna do is take a little bit more white. 
I'm gonna take some blue. I haven't washed my brush out. I've got a hint of that gray in there and I'm just gonna mix it up right here. And I'm gonna start working this in. Let's take a little bit more now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab, just pull a little bit water out here on the canvas to loosen that paint up out of my brush. And I'm gonna speed up the process a little bit more. I'm gonna take all three colors, blue, black, and white. A little bit more of that blue down in here. Now we know that a lot of this is going to be covered up here, but this is a very important part of the process of the painting and getting that background done and it's all good practice. So okay, now I'm going to take some more blue. And just shoot a few areas here. to bring that blue in just a little bit more. We don't want to have too, too much color at this point because we really want to just kind of tint it and have a light filter of color and then have the inside of the guitar bright and colorful and what really draws us in here. Okay, without washing my brush off, I'm going to go right into my turquoise. A little bit of water, just a tiny bit there. I'm gonna go slightly over the horizon. Loosen that paint up with a little bit more water. A little bit more turquoise now. Then I'm gonna take some white without washing my brush off. And I'm going to create some little scoops like this to add some movement, the beginning stages of some movement down here. And then we'll know where to add our guitar. Okay, we're creating all these light pastel tones in the water and gentle movement. Okay, to start coming in with the shape of our guitar, I'm gonna choose a smaller brush because I've got a smaller canvas here. This is a nine by 12 canvas, if I didn't mention that earlier. And this is a number two filbert brush. You can use one a little bit larger or smaller. You can also use a round brush if you want or a little flat brush. Because the guitar is rounded and it's got those curvy uh, edges, I'm choosing um, a rounded edge filbert brush. So I'm just going to get it a little bit wet and I'm just going to begin with basic outline here and I'm going to take a uh, burnt sienna, a little bit of black and I got my brush just a little bit wet and I know that I'm going to have the neck. The neck will start from up here. And I'm going to have the guitar on a bit of an angle, so that's going to make it a little bit more um, interesting and dramatic. So you just want to go about a quarter of an inch on a slight angle like that, then pull down on an angle here. This one's going to be almost straight. It'll have a slight slant to it. So angle, angle, then we'll come in. I'm just going to paint it all in.
Okay, we'll bring it down to a bow there for now. And the bottom of the guitar will be right about here. So we'll just do a little line here. It could be a little bit rounded already. But at this point, you can just make it flat if you want. It's about two inches. And then we're going to do a round top like this. Then bring it around here, or in, around and in. And then out. Across the top, in, out, and have it join up with the bottom here. Now, because we're going to have our guitar on an angle, we're going to make this side wider, and I'm going to use a little bit more of my paint this time, and I'm going to just make this wider and then pull in. And this, of course, is going to be a waterfall coming down here. So I'm just going to do a dark kind of underpainting here so that our waterfall shows up. And bring this out a little bit more. So see where this comes out. And then as we get down here, we're going to give it a little bit of an angle like this, where it cuts off. Add a little bit of black right here. Pull it in. Add it on the side right there. And I'm going to add a little bit more of my burnt sienna, but this time I'm going to add a little bit of white. Right here, I want to make it look like there's a little bit of a shine. And I'll be able to do that a little bit better as it starts to dry. So I'm going to start coming around the inside now with some white and a little bit of my phthalo blue, more white than the blue. So because our guitar is on an angle, we're going to leave this side thick with the outer edge of the guitar showing, but on this side, we're going to come over further like that. That's how it's going to, we're going to create this angle of the guitar. Add a little bit more white. Make sure it stays nice and bright in here. I'm going to add a little bit more white and add some clouds. Just little wiggles with my brush. And then you can softly, very delicately, sweep underneath and around if you want to make those edges a little bit softer. OK, 
Okay, down here, I'm gonna start adding a little bit more of my phthalo blue. I'm gonna come around the edge. Really intensifying the color now. Just follow that outline. I'm going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of turquoise and blend that in slightly to the blue. Okay, now I'm going to come in and make some uh, foliage by mixing my cat yellow with my black. Just going to come around here on the side. And just tap, tap, tap. Remember, we're going to have waterfall coming down here. So it's nice to have some foliage on either side. So I'm gonna come in here and scumble out a little bit of that green that I made with my yellow and black. So we've got a little bit of uh, moss covered rocks or vines. I'm going to add just a little bit here around the edge, along the top, and I'll make it uh, show up a little bit better in just a minute. When I add some highlights, so I'll just take a little bit of yellow and white. And I'll gently come in with it and leaving this edge in shadow. That will help to make this even more 3D. I'm just going to start coming in here and adding some highlights to the foliage. So I'll just choose a few areas to lightly tap. We'll mix up some more color here.
And like I did up here on this side, I'm going to leave it in, in more shadow with without the, uh, except for the shine I'm going to add there. And I'm going to do that right now. I'll just take my a little bit more burnt sienna with a little bit of white in there. And I'll just pull and curve, just curve over the edge like that. Then I'm going to come up the side with my black angle around and up. I'm going to take my black and clean up this edge. I bring this in a little bit more. I want to intensify this beautiful burnt sienna. It's got such a nice red glow to it. There, I like that. And I'm just going to add a little bit down here. It'll dry a little bit darker, which will be just perfect. And then if we've got little rocks coming down our waterfall area here, can tie in some of that brown as well. Now there's just a little dab here, just a little lump behind the guitar. I don't know what it's called. So I'm going to add that too. What I'm going to do is add uh, the little I don't even know what they're called. I'm so embarrassed. I'm just going to call them notches that hold and that you tune the guitar with. So I'm going to just add a little white kind of oval here on a slant with the guitar as it goes like on an angle like that. So three down that side. And then one little dab two, three. Okay, then I'll just add a little bloop here, here, three little bloops <laughs> like that. Now for the shadow, a little bit of black, a little dab there, dab there, I want to dab inside and then kind of underneath. I'm going to go around these. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that for now. Go back over to my small filbert, take a little bit of yellow and white. Tap a little bit more foliage around here. Highlights to my foliage. And come up around the very edge here. This yellow works as a filter over that blue background and you can see how pretty that looks. I'm gonna add the circle here 
I'm going to make it a really dark phthalo blue. Just take a little bit more phthalo blue. And the circle goes right where it comes in like this. I'm just going to bring this in a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to take my liner brush now and I'm going to go around the outside with my yellow and a little bit of white. Just a little bit more white here, make it show up better. Okay, so I'm really liking this. I want to wait for that to dry, and then I, as that's drying, I'm going to come in and add a little bit of movement in the water below. So I'll take a little bit of a little scoop of white and turquoise. And I'm going to go slightly over. Pull it up and then go back down. This is going to give us the, the feel that it's kind of in the water. I'm going to add a little bit more white down here. A little bit more turquoise and I'll add a little bit of phthalo as well as a little bit of that blue-violet. And just tie all that in. A little bit more white now, where it comes up, where you want the water to look like it's coming up, that's gonna be the brightest spot. I'm going to add a little bit more yellow and white now and give us a little bit more sunlight. It's all about creating that happy area here. And music and art tie in together, don't they? And they create so much happiness. So there really is a special meaning with this painting. I'm going to just add a little bit of yellow with my liner brush on the top there and on the little knobs here. I'm 
I'm going to take my white and my yellow again and go around, making this show up a little bit better. You know, as it dries, it tends to dry a little bit darker. I've got a really small mop brush here. It's nice and soft, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to create a few little light taps in here for some extra highlights. Okay, everybody, it's time to paint my waterfall. And this is the most exciting part for me because I really, really love tying a landscape, especially a fantasy landscape together with some water coming down in the middle of a beautiful type of sanctuary. So I'm using an angle brush, angular brush. This is the number 10. I'm just gonna go down because we've got this angle on here. It makes it really easy to line up on an angle. And this is, see, it's the same angle. So I'll just line it up and then twist, pull and drop. And I'm gonna bring it all the way down here. So I'm gonna, you wanna get your brush a little bit wet and I'm just gonna take some white with a little bit of turquoise. A little bit more water. Okay, I'm going to place my pinky here because this just personally helps me steady my hand. And I'm going to start right from there with the point. So then the strings on the guitar become waterfalls. I'm going to make a second tier coming right out of the circle here. So I'm going to line it up, pull and drop. And then coming out. So I'll turn my brush wherever I want the direction of my waterfall to be coming from. I want the long pointy angle part to be my starting point. Take a little bit more white now. I'm just going to come down and pull a few lines in here so that it looks a little bit more separate. I like to, I don't want the waterfall to be solid on my guitar. I like to see a few lines, especially when we've got um, strings. So I just really want to tie everything together. So I'm just going to take a little bit more blue, turquoise, a little bit of white on my brush. And have a little landing area here for that waterfall where it kind of flattens out there and then comes and joins up with this one and then we'll come around the bottom now with a little bit more white clean brush I'm going to slide into my yellow here. I'm going to tap. And just go graze down the edge like that. And then 
just sweep over a little bit like that so we get a, just a little hint of greenery down there too. I'm just going to take this one step further and by all means you can leave yours like this but I love my staircases and I feel like it's just inviting to have a little staircase going into this beautiful another realm or fantasy world. So I'm going to use, uh, I'll just use my little filbert brush again and I'm going to take a little bit of my burnt sienna and black, maybe a little bit of yellow in there too. Just make a nice light earthy color or like a olive green color and I think I'll just start with a little line there, another one, I'm going to pull off right down into here. Okay, then I'm going to add a highlight. So I'll just add a little bit of white to those same colors. And I'll start adding it right above. I'm going to go in and add a little bit more black now with the yellow, but, but more black this time. I'll go right underneath just to make these show up a little bit better. There we go. Okay, then I'm going to go back in with a clean brush with my yellow, tiny bit of black and a bit of white. And I'm just going to add a little bit of foliage, a little bit of foliage here around the edge. I did say I was going to use some of this violet, didn't I? And I haven't used any of my neon orange yet. Let's add a few flowers. This paint dries really quickly, by the way, the neons. Take a little bit of, little dab of each color. And I'll add a few flowers here for a little pop of color. Isn't that pretty? I almost forgot I was going to call this painting done before I'd use this. Some flowers here just spilling over the edge. And a tiny bit. A little bit here and there. Maybe we'll have some up here. So I'm going to switch over to a smaller brush. My liner here. Again, it's uh, number two. And I'm just going to dab a few little trailing flowers from the top there. And maybe around this portal, I'll take a bit of white now and make a softer shade. Back over to my filbert brush, into my yellow. I'm going to come around the edge here and just tap, following that shape, that curve. Clean my brush, a little bit more white. Final highlight on my waterfalls.
final highlight here. And I'm going to call this painting all done. This was so, so fun to paint. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this come together and that you want to paint along. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you all soon in another video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.